Welcome back to Sweat and Living Immigration News. Please don't forget to subscribe if you are new to the channel. In this video, we will be talking about the new bill that could increase H-1B filing fees. Let's get started. H-1B visa is a visa in the United States under the Immigration and Nationality Act, Section 101, that allows U.S. employers to temporarily employ foreign workers in specialty occupations that requires a bachelor's degree or an equivalent degree. H-1B is classified as a non-immigrant work visa that allows you to come to the U.S. and work by the help of a U.S. company, mostly tech and IT services. H-1B visas could become more expensive if the U.S. approves the proposed budget reconciliation spending bill. The bill will include a $500 supplementary charge for each H-1B visa petitioners. The bill will also include additional fees for several immigration-related positions like $800 for employer-sponsored permanent residency and $250 for an F-1 or student visa to be paid by the educational institute. It also includes another $500 supplementary charge for employment authorization forms for spouses of certain non-immigrants, students seeking occupational practical training and applicants for adjustment of status. The increase in H-1B filing fees reflects another stab at the already injured H-1B process, said Rajiv S. Khanna, managing attorney. It can cause as much as $30,000 in attorney fees, filing fees, and responding to requests for evidence each time you file an H-1B or an extension. With over a million jobs vacant in the company, in the computer technology industry alone, it is unconscionable that instead of making it easier, Congress is making it more difficult, he said. With these changes coming up, small businesses are the ones that would be impacted the most. Currently, companies are paying $460 for the basic application, with additional lawyer and anti-fraud and scholarship fees. For employers that have a large proportion of H-1B and L-1 visa holders, there is an additional $4,000 fee, as well as $2,500 for premium processing of the petition which most companies opt for. Employers are willing to pay these high fees for the skilled foreign workers and this believes the meant that employers want H-1B workers because they are cheap labor, said Cyrus D. Metha. If the House of Representatives cleared the bill, it would however expedite the path to permanent residency for several thousand Indian nationals who are in line for a green card. This could be among the most significant immigration changes made by the U.S. administration in recent years if the bill gets passed. Please share this information with family and friends who may need it. You can also help us spread the message by sharing it on all social media. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and hit on the notification bell for more immigration updates. Bye!